Hey Astra Kids, and welcome back. And in today's video, we'll be talking about the sun in the third house. Let's go ahead and jump right into this. So before we start, you first want to understand what sign is the sun positioned in. This is very important to understand the functioning of the sun in your chart. Along with this, you want to see are there any planets conjunct with the sun or aspecting to the sun. The most important moment where the sun becomes active in your chart is during a sun mahadasha. So if you have not seen my video on the sun mahadasha bhuktis, I will leave a link for that above and down below in the description. So what does the sun represent? The sun is the sole significator in astrology. It represents the purest form of who you really are. So the sun is all about your purpose here in this lifetime. The sun represents those in positions of authority, leadership, government. It also represents your relationship with your father and all authority figures. The sun represents righteous action. It is all about doing what is right, following a higher path in life, following the righteous principles. The sun also represents your health and vitality. It is related to your physical body and how healthy you are. The sun itself also represents your sense of courage, of self-esteem, willpower, your ability to take action, to organize, to lead. The sun also is a representation of your creativity, of your ability to be innovative and to think outside of the box. The sun represents where you shine at in life. It is your brilliance, how you are illuminated. And so the sun will illuminate anything it touches in the chart. The sun also can represent your spiritual journey. Again, it's related to the soul and the righteous path in life. However, the sun does have a negative side to it that you want to be aware of. When we use the sun in an irresponsible way, it becomes about ego and pride. So you definitely want to keep a handle on this. So what does the third house represent? The third house is the house of courage, of willpower. It is how you assert yourself in life. It is all about competition, all about self-expression, anything related to the arts, to writing, to communication, where you are putting your talents, your skills out into the world. The third house represents all of your hobbies and interests. It also represents your local environment, your connection with siblings, cousins, neighbors, close friends can be seen through the third house. The third house is signifying your short trips in life. It is all about shifting, changing location, quick journeys. There's a lot of movement and restlessness that is associated with this house. The third house rules over, again, all forms of communication, including writing. It also rules over all social media, internet, over entrepreneurship, business, salesmanship, anything that you are doing with your own efforts. Anything that involves communication can be seen through this third house. And because the third house is a house that deals with your courage and your ability to assert yourself, it is also a house of risk-taking activities. Along with this, the third house is the first of the comma houses. So it has a lot to do with your desires, and it is a very sexual house. This also is the house of your early development, of your development, of your communication skills, of your reasoning ability, all comes through this third house. So what happens then when the sun comes into the third house of your chart? Well, the sun, as I've mentioned before, is about your self-esteem, about your confidence, and it's coming into this house of courage, of willpower, of asserting yourself. So this definitely is going to make you a very courageous person. And of course, you want to see what sign is the sun in. Is it in a more aggressive sign or is it in a more of a softer sign? This will definitely have a huge impact on how the sun will express itself here in the third house. But in general, this definitely will give you a sense of confidence, of ambition, of asserting your willpower. You're not afraid to go for what you want in life. In fact, on the negative side, the sun in the third house can make you extremely impulsive as well. You can be a big risk taker with this placement where you can jump into situations without fully thinking it through. 
There's definitely a fearlessness about this, a huge sense of courage that is seen from this position. And sometimes because of that strong sense of confidence, this also can give a boost to your ego and you can get into ego clashes with others. You want to be very careful about how you are communicating because this third house is all about your communication. And with the sun here, you can definitely derive a great sense of ego from the way that you communicate and can find yourself getting into arguments, into battles, conflicts with others with this placement. And certainly these ego battles can also destroy some of your relationships as well. So again, you want to be very careful with this placement. Sometimes there can be issues related to siblings, to those closest to you with this placement, if it is badly afflicted especially. The sun is brilliant. It illuminates. So this definitely is going to increase your intelligence with this placement. You're a highly intelligent and clever person. You have all sorts of skills and you're constantly learning, constantly gaining new knowledge and information. So this can make you a very clever business person as well. And definitely this gives you very strong communication skills. You can be very clever, very witty, very ingenious with the way that you communicate. You have a way about you where you can illuminate or enliven an entire room through your communication. Other people look to you. Other people are inspired by you when you express your communication skills. This can make you an excellent writer. This can make you an excellent public speaker, presenter, anyone who is doing anything related to communication, even online blogging, anything where you are sharing information and knowledge with others. And with this placement, if the son is not too badly afflicted, you also can have a great relationship with siblings, cousins, neighbors, those closest to you. You can be very social with this placement. You're very driven, very self-motivated, and you're not afraid of challenges. When other people challenge you, you always are able to stand up for yourself, always up for a challenge, always up to take on obstacles in life. You have a way of coming back from defeat, of standing up against the odds, Again, this fearlessness and this sense of courage and bravery is very strong with this placement. This can also make you very skilled in terms of organizing, in terms of building systems, of dealing with others. So this can make you a great leader as well. But again, you want to see what is the condition of the sun, because in some cases, this is a placement that can create a lot of ego battles and conflicts when dealing with others as well. You definitely want to tone down your sense of ego and pride with this placement and make sure that you are always remaining humble in how you are dealing Dealing with others. But definitely because of your skills, your intelligence, your cleverness, other people will notice you. You definitely can get seen by people in positions of power and authority, and this can help with your success. Sometimes this placement can also make you talented in the arts as well. The sun itself is all about shining and this third house deals with any kind of arts or talents that you're involved with. So this can definitely make you skilled on the stage, in front of the camera, in the spotlight. This can get you into music, drama, performance. You can make an excellent actor with this placement also. This could also give you abilities related to technology, related to dealing with any kind of technical application. Again, you want to see what sign this is placed in, but the sun here ultimately will make you very skillful and talented in whatever it is that you are pursuing in life. Sometimes this is a great placement for politicians, for those working for the government. The sun represents government. And this third house, of course, is all about presenting yourself. So you can make an excellent public speaker or anyone who is sharing information or in front of the spotlight in terms of politics and government. Sometimes, depending upon how the sun is placed in this third house, this can also give you very strong desire nature, very strong sexual nature sometimes as well. Again, this all depends upon how the sun is placed here. Definitely, though, this makes you a very intelligent person. And because the sun is aspecting onto the ninth house, you are hungry for knowledge. You are seeking higher learning as well. So you can seek out a teacher, a mentor, a guide, someone who can give you some deeper insight as well. This can make you very interested in higher education and getting degrees. All of this can be seen with this placement. So definitely here, there is a huge desire to gain knowledge and expertise 
with this placement for sure. And because of this, this also makes you an excellent teacher, instructor, anyone who is sharing information. So as the sun looks at the ninth house, this becomes an excellent placement when you are communicating, when you are sharing your knowledge and wisdom with others. This will definitely help you to rise higher in life. Sometimes this can also make you interested in foreign travel, and there can definitely be something special that is related to long journeys with this placement. You can find yourself going on a long journey that gives you a great deal of wisdom and inspiration that completely transforms or turns around your life. So this can be a very eventful experience for you. The father also can be a source of inspiration, of wisdom for you, can be an excellent guide or mentor. But again, it's going to depend upon how the sun is placed in this third house. If the sun is badly damaged, then there can be challenges related to the relationship that you have with your father. Sometimes with this placement, you can also find that there are lots of struggles in the earlier part of your life. But this is the first of our Opachaya houses, which is all about growth and improvement. So as you continue to persevere through life, you're able to grow. This sun definitely gives you the ability to go from the bottom to the top. It is all about your ability to achieve and to overcome obstacles in life. Sometimes because the ninth house is involved, this can also show luck. After childbirth, the ninth house in particular represents childbirth in a female chart. But also in general, this can show that your luck, your fortune increases after marriage. Sometimes this can also show that you are a little bit shy, sensitive, not as expressive at a younger age, but as you begin to mature and evolve with this placement, you gain a great deal of self-expression because the sun here illuminates your ability to communicate. So this becomes a very important part of your life. Your communication really becomes the key to your success. So even if you are having difficulties in this area in your chart, this is something that will improve with time. Sometimes in certain signs, the sun also can burn out your relationship with your siblings. So you may have no sibling, particular younger siblings, you may have no younger siblings, or you may have some conflicts related to your younger siblings. Also, this could show that you are someone who feels responsible, who takes the lead when it comes to your sibling. So even if you are not the older sibling, you take this role of being the eldest. In general, this is a positive placement of the sun that can help you to really grow through your intelligence, through your skills, through your cleverness. But again, you want to make sure to remain humble and patient when dealing with others. This is also a placement where sometimes you want to be careful about taking risk or impulsive decisions. 